Mr. President, I've really appreciated your, your comments saying that you want to bring a peace deal to the war in Ukraine so that people stop dying. And I wholeheartedly agree with, with that sentiment. But I've seen that Emmanuel Macron, the president of France, is talking about actually putting NATO troops or French troops in Ukraine as potentially a next step. And that could be a tripwire for more NATO troops coming in. Can you guarantee that no matter what, you're not going to put American boots on the ground in Ukraine? Is that something you can say definitively? I would now? guarantee no. it. I wouldn't do it. No, it's different for France. You know, they're neighbors, more or less. We have an ocean in between. It's different for Germany, although Germany is much less involved than they should be and other countries. But, uh, you know, we have a big ocean in between. One of the things I think is so unfair, David, I think it's terrible, is that we're giving probably we're at least $100 billion more than Europe, meaning Europe as, as a whole, put together. And the economies are similar size, believe it or not. That put together and us is about a very similar economy size. But it's much more important for them. It's important for everyone. You have to have, look, this would have never happened if I were president. It would have never, Putin would have never done it. And it happened for two reasons. It also happened because oil went through the roof and he had, he had all this money to prosecute the war. But the oil was at a much lower level, the price of oil. He wouldn't have been able to afford the war. All of a sudden, when it hit almost $100 a barrel, he said, you know, I mean, he, he's one of the few to make money during a war because the oil has gone, and it stayed very high. It's extremely high right now, and it's going up. Oil prices all over the country are going up, as you probably have noticed. But yeah. I will tell you, that would have never happened. Ukraine would have hap never happened. Uh, the Israeli attack would have never happened. And inflation would have never happened. Those are three big things. Inflation would have never happened. But with Ukraine... And now it's very much, uh, look, Ukraine is now, I read the other day where they don't have the soldiers, they don't have the manpower, they want to use uh, children, they want to use old people, very old people, people that are not really perhaps uh, equipped to fight. Uh, they're not yeah, doing well. Yeah, the average well. age of their soldier is like 43 now. So they're yeah. running out of, they're literally running out of people. To make a peace deal there, would you be willing to take NATO expansion off the table if that's what it took to get the Russians and the Ukrainians to make a deal? Would you be willing to do that? So for 20 years, I heard that NATO, uh, if Ukraine goes into NATO, it's a real problem for Russia. I've heard that for a long time. And I think that's really why this war started. I'm not sure that this war would have started. Uh, Biden was saying all of the wrong things. And one of the wrong things, he was saying, no, Ukraine will go into NATO. That's one of the many things he said. When I listened to him speak, I said, this guy is going to start a war. Because as you know, for four years, there was never even talk of Russia going into Ukraine. That would have never happened. Russia was not going to attack Ukraine. As soon as I got out, they started to form along the lines. And I thought that Putin maybe will. He's a good negotiator. I thought he was going to be doing that for negotiation purposes. Then all of a sudden, they attacked. And I said, what's going on here? But if you look at the rhetoric from Biden, uh, he, he was saying the opposite of what, in my opinion, you had to say. But the things totally. he was saying, and he's still saying it. He's saying things that are so crazy. Inflammatory. Yeah. I 100% agree. And, yeah. you know, it turns out that the month before the Russians invaded, Blinken told Lavrov that the administration was not only going to bring Ukraine into NATO, but that they thought it was OK for the United States to put nuclear weapons in Ukraine. So no wonder the Russians hit the roof. I mean, you talk about uh, provocation. Well, let's say you were running Russia you wouldn't be too happy. And that's always been off the table. You know, there it's a border. And it's always been, you know, I don't think that they would have, if they thought that that was going to remain sort of a territory where you don't have NATO, but they don't want to have soldiers right on their border. They don't want to have it. It's always been understood. And that's even before Putin. Uh, it's always been understood that that was a no-no. And now you can go against their wishes and it doesn't mean they're right when they say that. But that was very provocative. And now it's even more provocative. And they're talking about, uh, I hear routinely, they're now talking about Ukraine entering NATO. And now I hear France wants to go in and fight. Well, I wish them a lot of luck. I think good luck. <laughs>